Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook, and today I'll be showing you what goes into setting up a new CNC router. You may have seen one of my previous videos, but I recently upgraded to a much larger device by Romax, with roughly 10 times the cutting surface. In this video, I'm taking the lessons I learned in the little router and applying them to my larger device. Preparation for the router started with building a table, which I made out of plywood and 2x4s. I used a kit called 2x4 Basics, which provided the vertical supports, and after making another table from scratch, this was much easier. Highly recommended, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Once assembled, I sanded it with an orbital sander, then gave it a couple coats of matte urethane finish. Finally, the router arrived, and it was time to set everything up. After getting some help placing the router onto the table, I ran the wires to my computer. Software-wise, it was pretty easy to set up, as I already had a copy of Mach 3 running. I simply had to change the configuration file, and like magic, I was able to jog it around. From there, I installed my DeWalt 611 router, which would do the actual cutting work. It's a relatively light router, but works very nicely for this purpose. Besides, compared to my old spindle, it's absolutely huge. After inspection, I found out that one of the bearings was damaged during shipping. Romax immediately sent me a replacement, but since I was anxious to test it out, I rebuilt it myself. This worked out well as a temporary fix, but I had to replace it later. To keep the router's wire from getting tangled up, I attached it to the flexible cable tray with zip ties, then started preparing my MDF work surface to hold items that I'd cut. Preparing the work surface meant cutting long grooves in the sides and middle in order to embed three sections of Universal T-Track from Rockler. These allow you to move clamps around your work surface, easily fixing whatever you're working on by simply tightening a knob. Once cut, the rails were inserted, then I drilled holes in the MDF and fastened everything down with wood screws. It's an interesting idea that you can use the machine you're setting up to actually help you with this task. That's of course fine with me as I'd hate to cut these slots by hand. You can see in this process that even when holding a shop vac nozzle over the router, it still generated a lot of dust. To help with this, I made my first part, a dust collection system out of three layers of clear polycarbonate. I was hoping that I could simply use this offset nozzle fixture to suck up the debris. Unfortunately, this didn't work out very well, but at least it did provide a great place to secure my router's power cable. I mounted my little shop vac on a raised platform. This allowed it to traverse the table without getting tangled. Next, I cut my third slot. As you can see, my dust collector isn't working very well there. What I decided to do was expand the fixture into an air chamber. This will suck air from directly above the cutter into the vacuum hose. This setup takes advantage of the holder that I already made, along with two more layers that will be glued together. Here I'm deburring the layers, and I'll stick them together with cyanoacrylic glue, also known as super glue, shortly. Romax actually sells something to do this, but you know, I've got a CNC router now, so why not why not do it myself? Make something similar. At least I assume that, I'd assume their their device probably works better, but you know, it's kind of cool to make it yourself. You can see how this works here. Air is sucked from the vacuum hose on the left, directly over the cutting bit on the right. It's a friction fit over the DeWalt spindle, which is which is great, but I had to use some duct tape on the vacuum hose to make it slightly wider. And here's the device in action, cutting a piece of white acrylic. Though it doesn't work perfectly, it's a huge improvement over the offset setup, and is even more effective on light materials such as MDF. Besides, if it doesn't suck up all the debris initially, you can always just have it go over your table after the fact. So thanks for watching. I've got some big plans for this router, so I hope you check back later, subscribe, and give it a like. Bye.